everybody. This is KF0FDV. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Um, I actually wanted to go back and redo a video um, to give better clarity on how to manually use your UV5R. Uh, that's manually inputting the frequency and uh, saving it to the memory bank. So let's get started on that. All right, so we get started by turning on the radio. Now, I don't have anything saved on this radio currently. Um, I've just used the VFO, and uh, that's a local repeater and uh, national simplex. So what I'm going to do, I want to say I want to change this repeater to another repeater in the area that I have access to. I would then press 147075, and then that's the uh, frequency of the repeater I want. So right there, you got to make sure that your arrow is on the line that you actually want to use, and that's just changeable with the uh, blue AB button there, A band, B band. So after I've input the frequency, I will hit Menu. And then menu item 13. 13 is where you want to go for your transmit CTCS. I want to change the CTCS by pressing menu. That opens up the menu. See that arrow goes down to open that up. And then 141.3. And then I will hit menu again. And then um, this one, the shift direction, which is menu 25. This one that I'm switching to also has a positive shift direction. And then, so I'm not going to change that, but uh, I can go up and go back down there. Sorry about that. So I can go up to menu number 26. Menu 26 is your offset, um, and it's the same offset. So I'll go ahead and hit exit, and I should be good to go on that repeater also. I'm in I'm indoors right now and uh, it's not going to work. But that's how you will manually input that into your radio if you want to switch from one repeater to another. So what I would like to do is I'm going to go back to one four seven zero three zero. I will go back into the menu. Go down to menu 25 for shift direction make sure that's positive still and then I'll go menu 13 hit menu change that back to 100 because that's the uh, for the 030 repeater that is the transmit tone I'll hit menu to save that and then I hit exit and I'm back at the first repeater and you're probably hearing it in the background on my mobile or the base radio but uh that's the repeater i'm gonna save i know it's in there correct i hit it so what i want to do we'll we'll go into menu i'll start at menu item one go down and to zero i can go down and keep pressing down to uh, 27 and 28. 27 is where you'll save it. 28 is where if you want to delete anything off of a certain saved channel. Uh, we'll go back to 27. I want to save this on, we'll say, we'll save it on mem memory channel 3. And then I'll hit menu. As soon as you see the CH pop up, that means that it's saved on that memory channel. So we'll hit out. We're back out here. Hit the VFOMR button to go into the memory channels. And you'll notice if the memory channels are correct. Um, if if you, you'll know you're in there. Sorry. That uh, when you have the number on the side. And it shows you which memory number it is. That's memory number three. We're good to go, and that's how you'll save that into your Baofeng UV5R. Now, most of the radios uh, that Baofeng does, 
uh, have the same type of menu. This is my very first UV5R. The A58S has the same type of menu setup, so it's the same uh, saving procedures. And that's the DM5R. That one I'll get into at another point in time when I can get a second one. And this one is the UV13 Pro. And that one has basically the same kind of menu setup. So most of Baofeng's radios are going to have that easy to set up menu and uh, ease of use. So there you are. Thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And then uh, make sure you leave a comment and let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see uh, on the budget comms kind of side of things. All right, 7-3 guys, I'll see you later.